Hey daywalkers and fellow travelers of the night, welcome to another episode of Seek at Night where we're going to open some Marvel Platinum Blaster Boxes, which I picked up at Target. I wasn't going to go all in on this and get a hobby box or anything. I've seen some of the cards. Some of them look cool. There's a cool Moon Knight card in there, a couple of them, and uh, obviously one by Bill Sienkiewicz, which would be awesome to get. I've seen people get the autographed version of it, which is just mind-blowing that that exists in this set. So I doubt we're going to get anything super, super major, um, but I know there's some cool cards that are exclusive to this version if you buy the blaster boxes, and you'll get one in every pack. And these have five packs or five cards in them and four packs total. So a total of 20 cards, and that makes sense because this is a $20 box, so you're basically paying a dollar a card, which I think is a more than fair deal, and I've seen people getting some really cool hits in these. So I thought, well, if I see any in the wild, I'll buy one or two of them just to make an episode on, but this is not a series I'm going to go all in on, so I figured any cards in here that I'm not a big fan of, I'll just use for trade or giveaways or something in the future. So if there's any cards in this set you're looking for, if we happen to pull one, let me know in the comments and maybe I can just work something out with you or send it to you or something. We'll figure it out. So for now, let's just open these up and we'll start with the first box. And I do have more cards coming in. I don't know if it's going to be cards people want to see me open. Uh, I have uh, some The Crow City of Angels cards coming in. And we've opened a box of those on the channel before many years ago. Um, but I've just been in a Crow mood. Obviously, the remake is coming out. And I, I don't really love the way it looks. But it did get me thinking about The Crow again and, you know, dig out a lot of my collection stuff. So, yeah, we're going to do some fun stuff with Crow uh, here on the show as well. So we'll get into that soon. But for now... Here's what a box looks like. You get four packs, like I said, and they have Moon Knight on them. And I'll be honest with you, that was the big selling point for me, was getting Moon Knight, uh, seeing that Bill Sienkiewicz artwork on the packs themselves. That's amazing, because I think when you buy the hobby boxes, I don't know if he's on the pack, I don't remember, but I did remember seeing people open the blasters and getting Moon Knight on the pack. So we're gonna check these out. These are kind of chromed out. You know, pretty much every card has a platinum look to it, very reflective, so I'll do my best with the lighting. Hopefully, uh, you know, I don't mess it up too much and you get a good shot of these cards because they are nice looking cards and they have cool artwork on them. I'm just not a big fan overall of to where I wanted to go all in on this. We have Doctor Strange cards coming out soon and Halo and I'm getting a couple box of Doctor Strange and definitely getting some Halo stuff. But I'll have Crow cards coming in and a couple other things that I'll do just for fun. Um, but I wanted to show... Oh, no way! First card! We got the Moon Knight. Honestly, I was like, if we just get one Moon Knight in both these boxes, I'll consider it worth my $40. Um, wow, that's awesome. Let me just uh, see if I can't get a better angle. There we go. Okay. I don't want the light too reflective on it, but I want you to see that it has a shine. Like, look at that. Oh, my God. That is amazing. Ah, uh, My biggest criticism that I've seen on this, that, that I share the criticism of, is there's a lot of new artists on here that, you know, Na their names aren't well known in the art industry or comic book industry and their names are not printed on the back of these cards and that is so frustrating i feel like there's enough real estate here to put the artist's name somewhere i mean even that new star wars trading card game i got the artist is on every card and i just get so mad that's a game that's an actual game there's rules and stuff on each card of things that the card can do and they still made room for the artist I'm a big fan of, you know, contributing the name to the artist. So it's really frustrating to not know the artist of this card. So if anyone knows, please let me know in the comments. I'm very excited that I got their card. This is a beautiful Moon Knight. And I saw it opened on another episode of someone else's, you know, stream a couple times. And I was like, man, I really do want that card. Um, normally when I collect Moon Knight stuff and Blue as well, we go for the TV show version. But man, that's just too cool. And that's Sienkiewicz on the pack is too cool as well so i'm not going to be greedy just the fact that we got this first card first pack i mean we already struck gold in my opinion so i'm going to set i'm actually going to sleeve this because <laughs> i want to add this to blue's new collection the way he's going to be just you know displaying the cards soon because he changed a lot of stuff as you can see the background behind me changed um he kind of left the wall empty for me so i put some halo stuff on there because um obviously the halo cards are coming out soon and I've been getting back into the games again, playing the game, so. Man, that's cool. I'm so glad. Card number 35, Moon Knight base card. Amazing. Oh, look. So this, I think, is what's in every pack. I got to say, I'm an Onslaught fan, too. That's uh, that pretty much that Chris Claremont run all the way up to Onslaught is, like, to me, just some of the best stuff. You know, Chris Claremont didn't do stuff in the Onslaught run, I don't believe. But to me, that was a good jumping off point. After Xavier turns evil, 
that was a good jumping off point for me. I did read the Grant Morrison and some stuff afterwards, obviously, but to me, this is like this was like the the goodbye for a lot of X Men stuff, especially the '90s stuff, because um, this was a cool story. So yeah, but this is the new blue. I think it's called Blue Surge, um, not named after the drink from the '90s, I guess. Um, just a coincidence, but yeah, that's really cool. So one of these is in every pack, um, and it's just a variant of the base card. And that's the other thing I'm kind of critical on the set. Uh, is that it's pretty much just like 13 different versions or something of every single card that's in the 200 card base set and that's i don't i don't find that to be super creative in my opinion um so that's my only i i not to be too negative but those are my only two negatives the art itself though and the design of the cards i like minus the lack of contribution uh, you know the names of the artists but otherwise those are the only negatives i have to say about this set um but look at this Mysterio. That is a really cool one. I saw someone else open this card on their episode. Obviously, we have Hammerhead as the last card. But I'm just trying to hide some of these other ones. But this is a rain. Wait, oh, it's a rainbow. Oh, I just noticed that. So if you notice, the, the colors change on it. So it's not just like a, a chrome, you know, silver card. It's actually, oh, that's wild, wild, wild. So each pack has a, a couple little hits in it. I'll just put a sleeve on it for now. This next card is going to be awesome for you fans of the character. Look at that. A classic looking black cat. Oh, I love it. Felicia Hardy, you steal my heart. That's for sure. But that is a base card. But yeah, which is some retro art on it from Amazing Spider-Man number 194. Funny, they'll put that on there and credit that, which is great. I'm glad they do it. But still no artist name. Uh, unbelievable. But still. All right. And then we got some classic art of hammerhead yeah i gotta say man these cards they are cool looking i, I will say um, i'm not always into the chromed out look on stuff sometimes when you use them sparingly in inserts it can it can work but for a whole series to be like it you know i i go back and forth but i will say i mean these cards they picked really good art for the cards uh, from new artists and you know classic artists and it's a nice blend for sure um all right so we got ego the living planet Let's see what our blue surge is. Oh, it's not there yet. Whoa, red skull. That is cool, holding the octopus there. That's a great looking card, holy cow. Card number seven in the set, awesome. All right, let's see what our blue card is. Our blue surge, Winter Soldier, Bucky Barnes. Hey, that's cool. I like this character a lot. I'm so glad they brought him back in the comics um, during that Ed Brubaker run. That was wild, I loved it. That happened right around the time they brought Jason Todd back in DC, too. So it was kind of funny that Captain America and Batman's former sidekicks that we thought were dead both came back. But, yeah, I got to say, I like the Blue Surge look. It's a, it's a neat look, like a little effect on there. I'm into that. All right. Oh, look at that. We got the comic book variant of the Red Skull card with Captain America number 14. So that's cool. Um and the next card I saw the back of earlier, so I'm already excited for it. Uh, but yeah, that's the cover variant. So it's, a, uh, oh, W17. Gotcha. But that's cool that they did that. And look at that, a Bill Sienkiewicz Electra. There's actually a Bill Sienkiewicz art book out there right now that's called like Assassins and Moon Knights or something like that. And uh, it's it's a really cool art book. If you, if you are into checking out Bill's stuff, I'm a big fan of the guy. And had a pleasure meet. Yeah, you know, had, uh, had the pleasure of meeting him a few times, and he's really nice, really nice guy. Um, back when I worked at Golden Apple, I think he uh, he did a signing there a couple times, and really, really awesome dude. So I'm excited. So I got a Sinkevich Electra, which I'm that's amazing, and we got Moon Knight in our first pack, first card. We were destined to get these two boxes. I saw there was like six boxes there. One looked opened and felt light, so I'm wondering if someone reached in and took a pack out or something. So. I backed away from that. I let a, a, a some, you know a store employee know about it, and then I went back and got. Um, they had five boxes left, so I just grabbed the first two and was like, well, "Let's just hope these are the the you know the ones." Um, whoa, so, uh, the cards aren't lining up perfectly, but that that sometimes happens with this. But look at that. That's a Mike Allred, Stephen Strange, very cool. I like Mike's artwork on some things, like on Silver Surfer. It was pretty cool. On Doctor Strange, it's pretty cool. I don't like him on every character, but um but he's got a really cool style he's i like his style a lot um all right and we got black widow very nice yeah man i gotta say seeing these in person 
filming them doesn't do them justice sometimes. Uh, I saw these cards and I was like, oh, I've seen a, a few unboxings of these cards. And I'm like, yeah, they're cool, but they don't blow me away. But I got to say, looking at them in person and seeing the art and the way it, it you know, clashes the contrast with the, the silver backgrounds and stuff, it's nice looking. Hey, look at that Loki from Thor number 12. I think this is a Skrzynski run maybe on the book. Um, really, really cool. That's a great, great drawing, actually. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sleeve that, too. I'm going to try not to sleeve everything, obviously, but... Yeah, these blue surges, they're, they're cool looking. And these are, you can only buy or get them in the blaster packs. So it's just another variant. You know, like I said, I'm, I'm not a big fan of just doing like 13 versions or 17 versions of one card. And I know Upper Deck does that a lot with, especially in the Moon Knight set, they had like the sand parallels, the sky blues, the midnight blues, the shattered reflections and the printing plate. But to get like six or seven to get a full rainbow is, is awesome. Doing a full rainbow in these now, especially with these, you know, blue surges, you know, you gotta, <laughs> you're gonna... It's going to be tough, I think, for people, especially if you like buying boxes, too. Um, I think you have to buy a couple boxes, see what you get, and then go from there, go to eBay, try to buy the rest, and hope people are selling them. Um, so, hey, look at that. We got a yellow variant of Namar. I think these are a little bit more rare. Um, but that's cool. That's a good shot of him, too. And then we got Proxima Midnight, who I love her name, and I like her design a lot. Uh, really neat. I don't know too much about the character other than what I read in, like, the Hickman run and stuff, but... I think she's still a cool character, and I love that name, though. Proxima Midnight is just a cool name. But, yeah, that's a neat Namar, and it's numbered 232 out of 399. So that's the main thing with some of these parallels is that they slap numbers on them. So they're like, oh, we printed only 399 of these to add, you know, value to them. And, yeah, I, that doesn't always work on me, but I got to say the card looks neat, and having that effect back there is cool. And then each color, I think, rim has different effects. Some have waves in them. Some have this pattern here. So yeah, they are neat looking though. And they showcase the art, which I love that contrast. That's my probably my favorite thing looking at these now in person is seeing that contrast of like the, the really crisp art with like a, you know, an, a clear or a clean background like that, like a very sterile look background is, is nice or a wavy one, you know, in that case. Um, so very cool. All right. So last pack of the first box, we have Scarlet Witch. Very awesome. Hello, Wanda. And then you can see my circle light there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, very awesome. I like that. She looks great. Hey, look at this. Groot. That means our blue was in the second spot, huh? Um, that's cool. Wow. He is awesome looking. I am Groot. Card number 37. Blue Surge. All right, why not? Let's put a sleeve around him. Just a sleeve, though. Um, awesome. That's cool looking. Hey, look at this. Wow, that Sandman is awesome. He is cool. He almost looks like Claymation. That is fantastic. And it's in a blue parallel. Card number three, blue rainbow. Oh, it's a rainbow. Okay. Yeah, sometimes I can't tell just by looking. It's because the way I'm looking at the card, the light is right on it. Um, the, your angle looks a little bit better, probably. Uh, but yeah, that's just... That's really cool looking. So it's not a numbered card. It's just a blue rainbow. Um, and I like that they have the stats on them. I'm always a big fan of that when they do that, especially when they do them well and, and try to be accurate. But it's hard. I mean, these characters have such long history. It's like, how do you really know how fast Sandman is? Because the way someone draws them might make them look really fast. And then someone else might, you know, make them look like he pieces together slowly. And the character does do both. So, yeah, it's a little hard to probably answer those sometimes, I'm sure. Um, hey, check that out. We got a Gamora. And I'm going to guess that's a... Uh, oh, that's just the base card. So it just has a red background. So yeah, we got Gamora and Centurion Iron Man. I believe this is the Centurion armor. That is very cool. When he fought Crimson Dynamo. Yep. Very neat. Awesome. What a good way to wrap up this first box. So yeah, 20 cards for 20 bucks. And they're all, you know, this clean looking, this nice looking. Getting a chance at getting some parallels, get the yellow, a numbered card. Um, very awesome. And then to open, get a Sienkiewicz Electra. I'm putting her right up there. Getting a comic book variant. Bucky, who I really love that character. Ego. Uh, Black Cat, Mysterio. I mean, this these were awesome. Onslaught, I'm loving that Onslaught. But man, to get Moon Knight in the first pack is just amazing. I love that. 
All right, so last, let's open this one. I'll try to go through it a little faster, but we'll get this both done in one. And I probably won't buy any more of these cards. I mean, we got the Moon Knight, so that's all I was really hunting for. If we ha happen to get the Sienkiewicz Moon Knight, that would be amazing. But, um, you know, getting a Moon Knight from this set is all I was really trying to get. And I'm going to put it in Blue's collection uh, once he sets it all up. So, all right. More Moon Knight, please, maybe. If not, that's okay. We got a good one. But this is, uh, I love seeing that art on the pack. So, first pack of the second and last box of this video, and probably ever. Um, looks like we're going to get another Scarlet Witch. So, that's all right. We'll get there. Electro, first up. Really cool looking card. Again, I love the art. Don't know the artist's name, so feel free to let me know in the chat. If one of these cards jumps out at you and you love it, let me know who the artist is. Because uh, Upper Deck couldn't bother themselves to do that, apparently. Which I just find, as a comic book editor and someone who likes to attribute where, like, when I buy artwork for my channel, like, if I, you know, meet an artist and I go, hey, I'd love to commission you for something to use on my YouTube channel, um, you know, and I want to credit you. I'm, I'm really big on that. So uh, artists, I feel, should get paid and should get credited always. And then, yeah, I have friends that are like, yeah, you know, I'll charge you 30 bucks for a drawing. And I'm like, well... You know, I'll give you more than that. I'll give you 45 or 50 bucks. I mean, it's I don't have a ton of money, but I'm not going to just give you $30 for an amazing drawing. I'll give you more than that if I can. So, yeah, I mean, I'm big on paying artists, you know, and making sure they get the credit. So I would love to have seen that in this set. Uh, but holy cow, man, spot. That is great. And it's a Spidey on the card, too. That's fantastic. I really like how they did the spot in the recent Spider-Verse movie. Card 101, that's fantastic. I think he first appeared... Near the end of, what was it? Was it Spectacular Spider-Man? Um, maybe it was around issue like 90-something. But yeah, very cool. So yeah, we'll put a sleeve on him because that's a blue surge and it's a Spidey card. So maybe I have a friend who collects Spidey cards who might want that one. Uh, next up, we got Howard the Duck. Oh, that's a great shot. Um, that's great. That's really cool looking, actually. I like the one of him from uh, Midnight Suns, too. Oh, and that's a rainbow. Cool. So again, I'll look for friends of mine on here, people I met recently in the card world who are looking to complete, you know, rainbows of their own or just want versions of these. Yeah, hit me up. Let's see if we can work something out, um, trade or something. Let me know. Uh, all right. Oh, so we got a yellow ego. Awesome. People will know him now as Star-Lord's father from the movies um, played by Kurt Russell, but just a really interesting character. Uh, don't have a lot of comics with him in it, um, and so don't have a lot of knowledge base on the character. So I would say probably most of my knowledge comes from, even though I'm a longtime comic reader, I would say most of my knowledge of Ego comes from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Um, but that's really cool, and that is uh, a yellow rainbow. Okay, so not a, not a numbered card like the other one was. This is a, a yellow rainbow. Sweet. Like I said, there's just so many versions of the same card in this. Which probably, if you don't care about different versions, you could make probably the 200 card set really easily off of like two or three boxes, maybe four boxes. Um, probably it'll take more because the amount of cards in each box. But yeah, I mean, after a couple boxes or half a case, you could probably finish a base set of 200. I'm guessing they just won't all be base cards. They'll be different versions of each card. Um, but hey, that actually is different than our Wanda. This is a classic drawing of Wanda. That's really cool. Actually, let me pull that other Wanda out. Um, and see what the difference is. Is it the same card? So this is card 45, and this is card 106. So they are different. So there's two Wandas in this set. But that's cool. I like getting the retro version. You got Vision in the background, too, with her. So very awesome. All right, pack two of our second box. And if, there's, if you have any favorite cards in this set, anything you're hunting down or looking for, let me know. And I actually, I just saw a symbiote. So I'm very excited. And Vision, I'm also very excited. This is beautiful. That's a great looking Vision card. Holy cow, I love that. Card number 16. Base card, beautiful. I'm trying not to touch the front of it. Knowing me, my fingerprints will get all over it. But that's cool to get a Wanda and a Vision there. Hey, and our Blue Surge. Any Juggernaut collectors out there? We got a Blue Surge of Juggernaut. How awesome is that? Sweet. Kane Marco. Love it. Great character. Um, I love the comic book where he fights Venom. 
uh, Venom the Madness. That's actually my favorite look of Venom design-wise, where he has all the different heads on his shoulders. <laughs> so I love that look of him. It's it's really, really cool. Um, and hey, look, we got that Mike Allred Doctor Strange in a comic book cover. Very awesome. Cover variant, WI100. Uh, yeah, that is cool. Good old Mike Allred. That is nice looking. All right, setting that over there. Hey, this is another Spidey hit. We got Mayday Parker. Oh, I got a friend, Tevia, who's a huge fan of this character. And it has her first appearance here. What if number is or issue 105? Um, that's great. I that she's a great character. I love Mayday. We have not gone into her background. We're gonna talk about her on the Venom vlog um, before I end the show. Um, we're probably gonna go to episode 900. I thought I was gonna make it to a thousand, but I don't know if I'll be able to do so. But I'm going to do like a couple episodes, like a week worth of Mayday Parker. So we'll get like three or four videos in and we'll talk about the times that she met symbiotes in her universe. And speaking of symbiotes and Mayday Parker, one of the symbiotes she fought in her timeline was Carnage. Look at that. Amazing Spider-Man 361, his first appearance. And that is amazing. That's a great shot there by Mark Bagley. Uh, his artwork I can spot. Um, but I'm I'm surprised they still didn't put his name on here. New artists and classic artists. I think you have to get a certain type of card, like the uh, the signature ones or, or you know the the artist variant ones, which are really rare. You have to get one of those in order to see who the artist is, and that's uh, that's a shame because I feel like there's enough real estate here to put their name on there. Uh, that's me personally, as someone who's designed stuff before. <laughs> I feel like you could have squeezed it in, um, but it's still that's a beautiful looking carnage. All right, sweet. Two packs left. Let's go, let's go. All right. So we have Ronan the Accuser. Speaking of Guardians of the Galaxy earlier, uh, he was the villain in the first movie. And uh, a Kree Accuser, I guess. <laughs> uh, he's got his big hammer back there. Very cool. Yeah, he looks awesome. Card number 27, base card. So I'll put him over here. Hey, oh my God, another, oh, so we got a double of Onslaught. I can't believe that. Two boxes in a row. Um, they must know I'm a fan of the character. So good, I'll keep one, and then now I have one to trade away. So if uh, if anyone wants a Onslaught in Blue Surge, if you're collecting, let us know. And uh, in the meantime, we'll put it in a sleeve to keep them a little protected, and I'll top load it later on. Next up. James Rhodes. Wow, that is a very classic image from the comic books of Mr. Jimmy Rhodes, a.k.a. War Machine. Character that I love, probably even more than Tony Stark, to be honest with you. Uh, our first comic we read as a kid was, was when War Machine took over for Iron Man. But this is a yellow spotlight. It's out of $3.99, like the Namor was. This is card 286. And the, the card from the set number is 122, but 286 out of 3 dollars that is awesome. So if anyone out there is rainbowing classic James Rhodes, let me know. I mean, there's so many cool images of this guy. But to pull one from an old comic, I mean, I guess that works too. You know, it's it's cool that they show tribute to some of the, the classics. But um, I don't know. There's a lot of cooler shots of Mr. James Rhodes there that they could have pulled from. Hey, and look at this guy. Dark Avengers cover of Norman Osborn as the Iron Patriot. And there's uh, Dokken or D Deken in the background, uh, which is Wolverine's son. You have Bullseye dressed as uh, Hawkeye. And then you have Venom, uh, Matt Gargan, disguising himself as Black Suit Spider-Man. So yeah, Dark Avengers, I don't, I'm not a big Bendis fan, to be honest with you. I like some of his stuff, but overall, I'm not a big fan of the guy. Um, and uh, and so, but, so I don't like everything he's done. And I've seen people pull autographs in certain sets with his name on it. And I'm like, yeah, that wouldn't excite me at all, getting an autograph from him. Um, not even a little bit. But some of the stuff he's written that I do like, I really like. And Dark Avengers is one of those books. that I From there all the way to Siege, I love that whole run. I thought that was fantastic. And um, then we got a classic Drax. So we got Gamora and Groot and Drax and Ronan. So we got a, you know, we almost got a team of... Uh, of Guardians of the Galaxy's building here. That's really cool. We just need Rocket and Star-Lord, and um, and we'll be doing pretty good. Uh, all right, so last pack of these two boxes. And let me know what you think down below. Do you think 20 bucks is worth it for these cards? I think $20 for 20 cards that are all, like, chromed out like this, I think is awesome, personally. I think it's worth it. It was worth rolling the dice and trying to get a Moon Knight, and hey, we did. So let's dive into our Nightmare now. This is a character that was rumored to be uh, that he was going to appear in Doctor Strange 2. 
And uh, then they, I guess, decided to go with a Multiverse of Madness story, which is still cool. I like that movie, actually. I have some criticisms of it, but overall, I like that movie. So we'll talk more about Doctor Strange when that series of cards comes out, I think, next week. So, yeah. Um, awesome. That's a cool nightmare. Big time, though. It's a neat character. I'd love to see him on the big screen one day. Hey, speaking of James Rose, okay, now this is what we're talking about. That's a cool shot of War Machine. Actually, I really like that. The thing about War Machine is that he's not just like Iron Man. You have to put guns all over him. He's got the extra guns on his back coming out, missile launchers and rockets and everything. Like, that guy goes full force. And that's what I really like about the character is he's kind of no nonsense. There was this uh, time where the Punisher, I think, was dressed as War Machine. And I'm like, yeah, that's kind of cool too. But I, I don't really personally like when they do stuff like that where Frank Castle becomes Cosmic Ghost Rider. Like, I'm not into stuff like that. I just like, I like, you want to pass the mantle on to somebody? That's cool. You know, invent a new character. Um, but, uh, you know, but War Machine, though, I think he's, he's a cool character. And I know he's kind of a derivative of Iron Man, but, you know, having derivatives, uh, derivatives sometimes is not a bad thing. Like, I like Miles Morales. I like Spider-Gwen. So, um, having another Iron Man, one that's a little bit more lethal, I dig that. So, yeah, card eight from the set. Oh, look at this guy. The Blob. It was cool seeing a cameo of him. Morph turned into him in the latest episode of X-Men 97, which is fantastic, by the way, that show. And I heard they might make some cards from it. Um, I heard it on the Spidey Hits interview with Upper Deck. So I hope they do. I would love to see some X-Men 97 trading cards uh, this time next year. That'd be amazing. I don't know if they could do it that fast, but that'd be awesome. Um, so yeah, the Blob in uh, Blue Surge. So if anyone out there collects Blob, I don't know if there is a Blob collector. Um, but if so, let me know. Um, was it Kevin Durant or something who played him in the movie in the... Wolverine Origins movie. Um, I met that guy a few times too. He's really nice, Kevin. Whoa. Okay. I just saw the next card. So let's do this. Since you already kind of saw it, Daredevil, who I am a huge fan of. So to have a Daredevil and an Electra both in these two boxes is fantastic for me. I'm going to keep these two cards, I believe, and put them side by side just for me personally. I love the character. And we may actually talk about Daredevil coming up. So, um, you know, on this show at some point. So especially with the new series coming out, the new uh, uh, Disney Plus show. So very cool. Oh, man, I love it. Matt Murdock, dude, you're amazing. But this card is going to freak you guys out because it's a black rainbow of Spider-Man. Uh, wow. I don't know if Spidey Hits has this card, if he's looking for it to complete his rainbow, if he's trying to rainbow out Spider-Man. But if you are Spidey Hits, you know, if you're seeing this episode, let me know. Um, I'll try to DM you too on Instagram. If you're trying to complete this as a rainbow and you don't have this one, I have a black rainbow for you right here. And I'm going to top load it and everything for you right now live on this episode. Well, not live. It's pre-recorded, but um, oh, no. Don't hurt the corners. Don't hurt the corners. Thank you. Thank you. And then we're going to top load it because I want to make sure if, if this says something that Spidey needs, I owe him. He sent me some Moon Knight cards after our episode where I was on his show opening a Moon Knight box, and he was too, and he sent me an acetate that I didn't have and a bunch of other inserts that were from that episode. So if I can pay him back in some way and send him this, I will definitely do so. So yeah, that's awesome. So for me, I think we did great. You know, we got Daredevil, we got Spider-Man. Oh, let me... <laughs> Sorry, it's, uh, it's not focusing let me focus on these cards there we go um, we got a blue surge uh, i'm a big fan of war machine so we'll include him in there we got some guardians of the galaxy characters and nightmare over here i mean we got so much stuff we got a yellow spotlight on jim rhodes we got two of those onslaughts we got ronin can go with the guardians we got carnage mayday i mean oh my god look at all that dr strange juggernaut i mean these cards are amazing vision and scarlet witch together ego howard Oh, yeah, you know what? I should put that aside for Spidey, too, just in case he wants it. Um, so we'll put those over there. Yeah, and to get all of this stuff in just, you know, two little blaster boxes is fantastic. Um, I'm just going to lay them all out. There's, we'll put her, I, I think Vision, yeah, he's over here. We'll put him there, sandwich him there between two Wandas. Obviously, the Moon Knight thing is big for us, and I'm going to, uh, oh, I did sleeve it, the, the Electra. So I'll keep her over here with Daredevil. I mean, so many cool things. Gamora, she's going to go there. Another Iron Man, Sandman, Groot can go over there. Namar, Proxima, Loki, 
Black Widow, Doctor Strange, Moon Knight. I'm so happy. This to me was worth it. Um, and I'm glad I didn't just buy one because knowing me with my luck, I would have bought the second box. And, uh, you know, I, cause I don't know which order they were in when I pulled them off the shelf. So for, you know, for, if I just bought one of them, like I was originally going to do, I might not have got the moon Knight. So I'm glad I got them both to increase my chances. And I'm glad he was in the first pack. That's amazing. So let me know what you think of these cards down below. As always, we'll keep talking about cards in the comment section and we'll have more card unboxings coming very, very soon with Dr. Strange and the Crow City of Angels, if you guys want it. And since those uh, Superman cards didn't sell, if you want me to, you know, if you want to see me open those, let me know there too. I have the Death of Superman and Return of Superman boxes. So if you want me to open those just for fun on the channel, I'm happy to do so. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.